One of the best things that you can do to better your financial picture is budget. Let's talk about it. There's kind of a misconception around budgeting or a negative connotation around budgeting sometimes. People say, oh, you got a budget? Oh, you must not be doing well or something like yeah. that. No, budgeting, it doesn't matter. You could be not doing well or you could be doing very well, Yep. very co financially comfortable. And we are in a comfortable place, mm -hmm. but we still budget our money. Yeah week in and week out, month in and month out, mm -hmm. because it's about that discipline. It's about setting a structure up within mm -hmm. your financial means. Yeah. And just having that structure yeah. really makes that big difference for you to continue to climb up that ladder to that financial goal yes. that you want to achieve within well, your relationship or individually. Individually, yeah. It doesn't matter what your goal is. One thing is for sure is that people want financial freedom. Whatever Amen. that looks like for you. Maybe it's to be uh, free of student loan debt, to pay off all of your credit cards, to be able to take the trip that exactly. you want without saying, ah, I'm going to break the bank if I do this. Or, oh, if I take this trip, I'm going to have to eat rice and beans for the next rice three months. Rice and beans, beans and rice. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Dave Ramsey. <laughs> yes, Dave Ramsey. If there's one thing that has, that is ingrained in my head from Dave Ramsey is rice and beans, beans and rice. You got to do it with that Rice got... and beans, beans and rice. That's what you need to live <laughs> <laughs> But look, I think in order to achieve uh -huh. those goals, whatever, yeah. buying a house or mm -hmm. taking that vacation across the world or whatever you want to do, it has to come down to budgeting your money. And yeah. that's why it's so important because if you don't know where your money is going, then you're not going to have, then at the end of every month, you're going to be like, dang, where, where'd my money go? <laughs> where did my money go? Because you have no clue how, how much, much you're bringing you're in mm -hmm. and how much you're spending. And let's say you're bringing in $5,000 a month. If you're spending, but you're not tracking it at all, if you're spending five five thousand five hundred, mm -hmm. and at the end of every month, you're like, wait, where did my money go? Why am I maxing out my credit cards? Or why am I not mm -hmm. being able to pay my credit cards mm -hmm. back in full each month? Mm -hmm. That's because you're not budgeting. And just setting up that budget is so important because it's just simply, it's, it's a very simple method. It's tracking your income, which is easy because you should know how much income you're bringing in. And then also tracking your expenses mm -hmm. and whether you're doing that through an application or a software like mm -hmm. uh, mint.com, which mm -hmm. is what we use, mm -hmm. or if you're doing it, um, on, on an Excel spreadsheet, on an Excel or, spreadsheet mm -hmm. or on a note or even handwriting it, mm -hmm. whatever works for you, you should continue to do that week in and week out or month in and month out. We practice monthly budgeting yeah. and we, and we do it and we check in, uh, two times, bi -weekly. yeah, bi-weekly, mm -hmm. uh, two times a month. Um, but if that is too much for you, then just do it once a month. Yeah. Or if you want to be more strict with it, do it every day or, or every week. on a week. weekly basis. Mm -hmm. But you have to set up some type of structure and that structure is in the form of budgeting. Mm -hmm. And that is going to set up your financial goals that you want to achieve for the year and for the years to come. Yep. And the way that I like to look at it too is when it comes to budgeting, think of it as your financial guideline or your financial map per se. When you're on a road and you're driving to your destination, you're not just going to hop in your car and just hop on the road and just go for it. No, you have to have some sort of map to direct you. And the way to look at it as far as budgeting is that budgeting is your financial map to get you to your financial destination, your financial goal. So try to look at it that way. You're not going to just get in your car and just go. You have to have some sort of direction or maps to take you safely to your destination. And that's what budgeting simply is. That's a great analogy. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that you guys can get some value from that analogy. Mm -hmm. It's basically the blueprint. Yep. It's the blueprint, mm -hmm. the blueprint to your financial goals of whatever you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. um, moving on, like, so if budgeting is so important mm -hmm. and it's something that we should do, why doesn't everybody do it? That's a great question. She had, she had to drink a... Sorry, I had to she, take a sip of She had to take a sip of a, a tea on that one because, I you mean... You know... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. I asked the question so you could answer yeah. it. Go ahead. Um, 
I think that it, it there's a lot of factors why people don't budget. Sometimes people just look at it as a chore and, you know, they may not have the discipline to do right. it. And so, you know, it could be looked at as such a negative thing that they put it off and put it off and put it off. And so that lack of discipline, a little bit of procrastination. Yeah. Also, maybe they may not have had their seen their parents budget or anything like mm. that. So to them, it's it's foreign. It's not something that they you know that they've ever seen. So how do they know to do it if it wasn't taught? That doesn't mean that you can't learn. Um, but that's a factor. Yeah. Um, also, people just have different relationships when it comes to money, too. They may have that relationship where I got it, I spend it, and that's it. And that's the relationship with their money. Um, so there's a lot of reasons. Why do, why do you think people don't budget? Yeah, I mean, you kind of hit all the points that I was going to say. I mean, mm -hmm. the main one is, I think, discipline. Mm -hmm. uh, because you can be disciplined or you could be motivated. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, motivation kind of goes in with the discipline. Yeah. But people lose that sense of motivation and inspiration to continue to budget. So that first month or that first two months where you're mm -hmm. going hard and you're, and you're budgeting your mm -hmm. money, you're doing well. You yeah. know, you, you, yeah. you might be profiting each month, $500, $1,000, $2,000, 3000 whatever your number is. Mm -hmm. But as the months go on, it starts to dwindle down and you're not saving as much and to maybe to the point where you're not even saving at all. You're actually you're going overboard and now you're going more in debt. Yeah, you're, you're so spending. That's mm -hmm. a, a product of lack of motivation and mm -hmm. a lack of discipline. And I think you have to have both of those in line mm -hmm. going forward in order for you to continue to succeed yeah. at the budgeting part. Yeah. And once you get that habit down of budgeting mm -hmm. and it's ingrained in you, then you can it's very easy for you. Yeah. But it's about getting that start starting point yep. and continuing with it for at least three months for it to register in your mind as a habit. Mm -hmm. And then as the months go on and the years go on, then it's become second it nature. It becomes second nature. So some things that we recommend for you guys that, that really helps us when it comes to budgeting. First, sit down and ask yourself, like, what are my financial goals? You know, where do I where do I want to see myself in five years? Right. Start with that first. So you just have an idea of what you're working toward. Then after that, whether like Shane said, whether you write it down on a pen and paper, we use Mint. You can go to mint.com and track your um, income and your expenses there or Google Excel sheet, whatever works best for you. But then also sit down and Put everything on paper or put it on your computer so you know where you're at. You need a guideline to get you to where you're going. Right. So you need to know your income and then also look at how much you've spent thus far. If you start at the beginning of the month, wonderful, because then you're starting at baseline. So you haven't even spent anything yet. So once you have that, then you're able to calculate and track your expenses on a day-to-day -day basis, a weekly basis, yeah. bi-weekly or monthly basis. Once you have done that, then you can, what we do is set reminders. We have a mid-month check-in and then we do a end of the month just to hold ourselves accountable. Once you build those habits, you put a little sticky note to keep you motivated and then boom, there you go, there you have it. Now, rest assured, we're gonna be doing plenty of videos on budgeting and this is not going to be the last one. So if you need help with budgeting or if you need help getting started, we're going to be focusing a lot on budgeting and focusing on a lot of different, a plethora of different topics. Mm -hmm. But uh, budgeting, since it's so important, we're going to have plenty of videos on that. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping that you got some value from this one. Mm -hmm. So we're going to sign off today. My name is Shane. And I'm Jen. Enjoy the journey.